Hi guys! So, I know it's late, but I've moved houses and only today the internet was installed. So, I just got off of work and I'm watching the third episode of season 7 of Game of Thrones. And this one, I don't remember the name of this one, but whatever. And uh, yeah. For those people that don't understand why I pause my videos and say the number of the episode, it's because my camera only records 10 minutes at a time. So she records and then she stops. So I have to pause a little bit later uh, and say, oh, I'm on minute 10 and then. Uh, so I'm sorry if you are putting the episode on your computer at the same time to watch my reaction with me but I have I have to do that I try to do it uh, the least amount as possible but if the episode has one hour at least six times I have to do that so I'm sorry I'm sorry so I'm starting the episode right now I skipped the intro because it's quite a bit of time I'm on minute 145 seconds starting now. Tracking. Bastard of Winterfell, the dwarf of Casterly Rock. Oh, babies. We lost each other at the top of the wall. You we were pissing off the edge if I remember right. <laughs> Picked up some scars along the road. It's been a long road. Like we're both still here. I'm Jerry Lannister. That was Seaworth. Ah, the Onion Knight. He fought on opposite sides of the Battle of Blackwater Bay. Unluckily for me. Sandy is the Queen's most trusted advisor. Welcome to Dragonstone. Our Queen knows this is a long journey. She appreciates the efforts you've made on her behalf. If you wouldn't mind handing over your weapons. Thumb. 
Soft men don't fare well with each other, sons. True. But I'm not a star. Oh shit! <gasps> shit! That was that that was on the nose. I'd say you get used to them. You don't. But you never really do. <laughs> it's the first time that he oh, sees dragons. His face, I'm sorry. Oh, look at her face. I wondered why you weren't there to meet our guests. You begged us to summon the king in the north. Don't you want to see him again? I've done my part. I've brought ice and fire together. Strange. You spoke so highly of Jon Snow, but when he arrives, you hide on the cliff. I didn't take you for a bashful girl. My time whispering in the ears of kings has come to an end. Oh, I doubt that. Give us common folk one taste of power like the lion who tasted man. Nothing is ever so sweet again. Neither of us is common folk anymore. I did not part on good terms with the king of the north or his advisor. Why? Because of mistakes I made. Terrible mistakes. I would only be a distraction if I stayed. So where will you go? Volantis. Good. If you don't mind my saying, I don't think you should return to Westeros. I'm not sure you'll be safe here. Oh, I will return, dear spider. One last time. My lady. I have to die in this strange country. Just like you. Damn. Damn. Oh fucking hell. Who wrote the dialogue this season? This season the dialogue is on fleek. It's amazing. Daenerys Targaryen. Stormborn, Queen of the Vandals and the First Men, Protector of the Realms and the Seven Kingdoms, Breaker of Chains, Mother of Dragons. You stand in the presence of Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen, rightful heir to the Iron Throne, rightful Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Protector of the Seven Kingdoms, the Mother of Dragons, the Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, the unburnt, the breaker of chains. Okay. This is Jon Snow. He's king of the north. Thank you for travelling so far, my lord. I hope the seas weren't too rough. My lord. Where's the kind, your grace? But apologies. I have a flea bottom accent, I know. But Jon Snow is king in the north, your grace. He's not a lord. Forgive me. Your grace, this is Sir Davos Seaworth. Forgive me, Sir Davos. I never did receive a formal education. But I could have sworn I read the last king in the north was Torrin Stark, who bent the knee to my ancestor, Aegon Targaryen. In exchange for his life and the lives of the Northmen, Torrin Stark swore fealty to House Targaryen in perpetuity. Or do I have my facts wrong? I wasn't there, Your Grace. No, of course not. But still, an oath is an oath. And perpetuity means... What does perpetuity mean, Lord Tyrion? Forever. Forever. So I assume, my lord, you're here to bend the knee. Hmm. I am not. No. Oh. Well, that is unfortunate. You've travelled all this way to break faith with House Targaryen? Break faith? Your father burned my grandfather alive. He burned my uncle alive. He would have burned the Seven Kingdoms. My father was an evil man. 
on behalf of House Targaryen. I ask your forgiveness for the crimes he committed against your family. And I ask you not to judge a daughter by the sins of her father. Damn! Our two houses were allies for centuries. And those were the best centuries the Seven Kingdoms have ever known. Centuries of peace and prosperity. With a Targaryen sitting on the Iron Throne and a Stark serving as Warden of the North. I'm pausing here, I'm on 10 minutes 44 seconds and I'll see you right now. Starting now. I am the last Targaryen, Jon Snow. Honour the pledge your ancestor made to mine. Bend the knee and I will name you Warden of the North. Together we will save this country from those who would destroy it. guilty of your father's crimes, and I am not beholden to my ancestors' vows. Then why are you here? Because I need your help, and you need mine. Did you see three dragons flying overhead when you arrived? <laughs> and did you see the Dothraki, all of whom have sworn to kill for me? They're hard to miss. But still, I need your help. Not to defeat Cersei. You could storm King's Landing tomorrow and the city would fall. Hell, we almost took it and we didn't even have dragons. Almost. Mm -hmm. We haven't stormed King's Landing. Why not? The only reason I can see is you don't want to kill thousands of innocent people. It's the fastest way to win the war, but you won't do it. Which means, at the very least, you're better than Cersei. Still, that doesn't explain why I need your help. Because right now, you and I and Cersei and everyone else were children playing at a game screaming that the rules aren't fair. You told me you liked this man. I do. In the time since he's met me, he's refused to call me queen. He's refused to bow and now he's calling me a child. I believe he's calling all of us children. Figure of speech. Your Grace, everyone you know will die before winter's over if we don't defeat the enemy to the north. As far as I can see, you are the enemy to the north. I am not your enemy. The dead are the enemy. The dead? Is that another figure of speech? The army of the dead is on the march. The army of the dead. You don't know me well, my lord, but do you think I'm a liar or a madman? No, don't think you're either of those things. The army of the dead is real. The White Walkers are real. The Night King is real. I've seen them. If they get past the wall and we're squabbling amongst ourselves, we're finished. I was born at Dragonstone. Not that I can remember it. We fled before Robert's assassins could find us. Robert was your father's best friend, no? I wonder if your father knew his best friend sent assassins to murder a baby girl in her crib. Not that it matters now, of course. I spent my life in foreign lands. So many men have tried to kill me. I don't remember all their names. I have been sold like a brood mare. I've been shamed and betrayed, raped and defiled. Do you know what kept me standing through all those years in exile? Not in any gods, not in myths and legends, in myself, in Daenerys Targaryen. The world hadn't seen a dragon in centuries until my children were born. The Dothraki hadn't crossed the sea, any sea. They did for me. I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms, and I will. You'll be rolling over a graveyard if we don't defeat the Night King. The war against my sister has already begun. You can't expect us to hold hostilities and join you in fighting. Whatever you saw beyond the wall. You can believe him. I understand that. It sounds like nonsense. But if destiny 
he has brought Daenerys Targaryen back to our shores. It has also made Jon Snow king in the north. You were the first to bring Dothraki to Westeros. He is the first to make allies of Wildlings and Northmen. He was named Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. He was named King in the North. Not because of his birthright. He has no birthright. He's a damn bastard. All those hard sons of bitches chose him as their leader because they believe in him. All those things you don't believe in, he faced those things. He fought those things for the good of his people. He risked his life for his people. He took a knife in the heart for his people. He gave his own... You must forgive my manners. You'll both be tired after your long journey. We'll have baths drawn for you and supper set to your rooms. It is a gin, Maralesh, Betajan, Mora, Timoriach, Fosman, Tihiri, Mora. Am I your prisoner? Not yet. Huh? Not yet. Sorry, I'm not reacting, but I'm I'm really sad with Daenerys this episode because she she
the mountain. My queen, please accept this gift on behalf of all of your loyal subjects in the Iron Islands. I give you what no other man could give. Justice. Justice for your murdered daughter. You've proven yourself the greatest captain on the 14 seas, and a true friend to the crown. You deserve more than a true friend. And you deserve a proper reward for your heroism. There's only one reward I want. You shall have what your heart desires. Mm. When the war is won. With Euron Greyjoy commanding our naval forces, and Jamie Lannister leading our armies, the sons and daughters of Westeros shall defend our country. Hell. The shake and gentle, or rough. A thing named the bar. Shh, shh, shh. Not now. I'll talk with Jamie is so killing him. children. How progress. The daughter's a beauty to you. It's brown eyes. It's lips. Oh, I think Dornish beauty. I imagine she's your favorite. I know, I know, I'm not supposed to have favorites. But still, we're only human. Oh, 
powerful now. Condolences, Your Grace, on the death of your son. From all reports, he was a fine young man. The Iron Man didn't send you here to offer condolences. Condolences and congratulations. To become the first ruling queen of the Seven Kingdoms, that's quite an accomplishment. The Iron Bank appreciates how you cast off the yoke of superstition, freeing the crown from elements who sought to subvert the rule of law. The destruction of the Sept of Baylor was a tragic accident. <laughs> But sometimes tragedies are necessary to restore order and rational leadership. The Iron Man wants his gold back. Your father never minced words either. But yes, your debts are considerable. And you are now engaged. 
engaged in a conflict on several fronts. We both know how expensive war can be. And we both know gold wins wars. Your vaults are empty. Your late husband's profligacy saw to that. Your wealthiest allies, the Tyrells, are now your enemies. You are surrounded on all sides by rifles for the throne. And the Iron Man wants to bet on a winner. We don't make bets. We invest in endeavors we deem likely to be successful. A fancy way of saying bet. Hmm. The war's already begun. I've drawn first blood. I decapitated the Dornish snake. My armada owns the narrow sea. You and Greyjoy's armada owns the narrow sea. No, Greyjoy is loyal to me. For now. Daenerys Targaryen has three full-grown dragons. How well do wooden ships fare against fire-breathing dragons? Her dragons might not be as invulnerable as some think. Now let's talk about the Targaryen girl. You want to invest in her? I'm guessing the Iron Bank invested considerable gold in the slave trade. How are your profits? Hmm. Now that Daenerys has freed all the slaves. The slave trade has entered a downturn, it's true. From what I gather, she considers herself more of a revolutionary than a monarch. In your experience, how do bankers usually fare with revolutionaries? The Lannisters owe the Iron Man quite a lot of money, but Lannisters always pay their debts. Do former slaves, or Dothraki, or dragons? Your father's daughter, indeed. Give me a fortnight. Stay in King's Landing as my honoured guest, and when you return to Bravos, I swear to you, my debt will be paid in full. seconds and I'm going to end this video and start in the part two of this reaction. See you there!